What is a syntax diagram? In a programming language, the grammatical rules or syntax need to be set out clearly so that a programmer can write code that obeys the rules and a compiler can be built to check that a program accordingly. The graphical way to represent syntax and rules of a language is called syntax diagram. To define the syntax of a particular element of the language, rectangle, circle and line are used. What is the purpose of a circle, rectangle and line, arrow in a syntax diagram? Symbols represented through rectangle needs to refer to another syntax diagram to get the full definition. For example, digit or letter. It needs further clarification. Symbols represented through terminal symbol cannot be broken down further by referencing to other syntax diagrams. For example equals sign or full stop. It is complete in its meaning. Finally, line and arrow shows the direction of symbols in a syntax. Further details of circle, rectangle and lines. Let's try to understand a syntax diagram to define the name of a variable. Letter and digit need to be further defined in other syntax diagrams. This syntax diagram defines that a variable in this language can be named using a letter and digit respectively. You might think the meaning of digit is any number from 0 to 9. But, in a language syntax it is not necessary. It might be only 0 and 1 or 0, 1, 2 etc. So, letter and digit enclosed in rectangle need further reference to other syntax diagrams. Similarly, letter word enclosed in a rectangle needs another syntax diagram, which defines what actually a letter is. As you can see another syntax diagram defining meaning of letter. It shows that, a letter might only be A or B or C. It is notable that, how alternatives have been defined. Similarly, for digit, another syntax diagram given which defines that in this language, digit means, 1, 2, or 3 only. As you can see now, the meaning of the words in a syntax diagram might be very different than our general understanding. Now. These three syntax diagrams fully describe that how variable can be named in this particular language. It tells us that a variable name can start with a letter, A, B or C and must end with 1, 2 or 3. Any other combination should give a syntax error to the program developer. Examples of syntax diagram Let's understand another example of a Simon statement. As you can see equal to sign has fixed position and cannot be further defined. However, variable and operator need reference to other syntax diagram, which are given below. It is clear through given diagram that an operator might only be plus, minus, multiply or divide sign, similar to variable and digit syntax diagrams. According to these syntax diagrams, a variable can be assigned a value by, first, writing variable at left hand side. Then equal to sign must be written. After equal to sign, variable is written, followed by an operator, and ended with another variable. Examples of correct and incorrect variable names. Now, let's see. Following variable names fulfills the, the naming criteria set by given syntax diagrams, or not. Question says, using the syntax diagrams shown, identify which of the following variables are invalid and explain why. This first name given is A1. According to rule defined in syntax, a variable must start with A or B or C, and end with a digit 1, 2 or 3. So A1 is a correct name for variable. But, 
second variable name Z2 is not correct as Z is not allowed according to the definition of letter. According to syntax diagram, only a, C and D variable names are correct, and remaining are incorrect. Examples of correct and incorrect assignment statement In programming languages, assignment statement is used to assign a value to a variable. It might be as simple as A is equal to 5, or in form of an expression like A is equal to B plus C. Let's see which of the given assignment statements are correct according to given syntax diagrams. According to our syntax diagram, only first assignment statement is correct. Second statement has three variables after equal to sign which is incorrect, and third one has colon sign, which is not allowed. Examples of repetition in syntax diagram According to our first syntax diagram a variable, a variable name must start with a letter and followed by a digit. So, in this way, CC1, AB, ABC, and A12 are incorrect variable names. What about if want to repeat letters or numbers after first position? This syntax diagram allows the variable name to start with letter, followed by a letter, or digit to any number of times. It will allow all above variable names. The only condition is the first symbol should be a letter. This is slightly changed version of variable name syntax. It requires first element must be a letter, and after that there might be only one letter or digit. So the length of the name must only be two. Thank you very much for watching my video. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video.